A toxic environmental legacy has cast a shadow over life in this remote town in Kyrgyzstan, limiting economic development. But a remarkable example of modern engineering, a specially adapted monitoring drone, could help change everything. Welcome to Mylusu. Once Mylusu's identity was masked with the code name Mailbox 200. The reason for this? The town was at the very heart of one of the most important strategic industries of the day. Uranium mining and processing. Uranium production at the time was what we might now call a globalized industry. Ore from countries like Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia and East Germany was transported to Mylusu and other Central Asian towns for further processing. But while the uranium industries have long since closed, those who live in these towns must cope with their legacy today. Many such places in Central Asia share the same fate, but Mylusu is the most prominent example. A key task today is to find unknown radioactive hotspots, those for which historical records were misplaced or where the waste has shifted after landslides or flooding. Monitoring has usually been done on foot or less frequently by helicopter. In the first case, it can be time-consuming and risky. Monitoring by aircraft, meanwhile, is expensive. Which is why the IAEA has partnered with a research project that could make all the difference. Radiation monitoring by drone. The nice thing about drones is that uh, they can be operated remotely, which means the operator does not have to be on the sites that is investigated by a drone. So it is safer uh, compared to the classical uh, method that is operated on a helicopter. It is cheaper, it is easier to operate, it's easier to get uh, flight licenses. It is also closer to the object of investigation. At the end Me se čas s pomoću drona luče, gorazdo luče, čem v prežnije gada. Znajem, gdje oni nahodjaca, se, kak vigladit et povišeni fon. Znači, me očen, hrašo, očen detaljno možem um, charakterizirovat radijacijonu situaciju na balših, na balših plošadjah. Radionuklides from waste dumps can enter the food chain through the water supply, crop irrigation, or the pasturing of animals. Если учесть период полураспадов урана и других радионуклидов, это на многие тысячелетия, да? Значит, мы должны вести мониторинг, чтобы обеспечить безопасность населения нашего города и в том числе нашего региона. There is also a genuine risk of a regional ecological disaster. Albatta sel opasini. Misol uchun, bu yerda har bir xavastaxranchaning atvolining usti jog'inda adirlar, uchelya. Jamg'ir jog'inda srazli sel bo'lib keladi. Sel olib ketuv qo'rqinchi da bor. Sel bo'lib og'ib ketib turgan bo'lsa, Mali suv daryosiga tushadi. Mali suv daryosidan srazli O'zbekistonga. Benjamin Veen's Volga German grandfather and great-grandfather both worked at the mines of Mailu Su. And in a twist of fate, Benjamin is now training locals to use this cutting-edge innovation, drone gamma spectrometry, to identify the uranium legacy sites. Very interesting, very good. If it's difficult in the training, it's easy in the fight. We hope that we will learn Training Central Asian operators on all aspects of remediation is one of the IAEA's key objectives. 
and accurate radiation monitoring is an essential first step before the sites can be cleaned up in line with the IAEA safety standards. Supported by the European Union, such work has successfully begun elsewhere in Central Asia. Dangerous buildings will be demolished and contaminated earth safely removed and replaced with fresh topsoil. It lays the foundation for economic revival and the safe development of tourism in these spectacular landscapes. My lesu расположено самое много скоплений хвостохранилищ и горных отвалов по всей республике. Все будут рекультивированы, перенесены на безопасное место, будут полностью безопасны для местных жителей. Дойдет, я думаю, социальная поддержка, и здесь, ну, молодежь будет оставаться здесь жить дальше. Test flights here and in neighboring countries have clearly shown the drone's potential. There's now hope in Mailusu that the threat of the legacy uranium works can be managed and eventually entirely eradicated. Sofia grew up here. Her father worked in the uranium mines. Нет, это очень важно, несомненно, и чтобы была чистая вода, и чтобы экология у нас здесь была хорошая. Но мы патриоты своего города, наверное, любим свой край и хотим, чтобы он был замечательным, хорошим, светлым, 